from Tampa Bay's streaming news leader. Brought to you by AlertTodayFlorida.com. This is ABC Action News. Hello, I'm Jamison Euler. Chief Meteorologist Dennis Phillips has Florida's most accurate forecast in just a moment. But first, here are your ABC Action News Now headlines. Deputies say he pretended to be a doctor and told people he could treat everything from diabetes to Parkinson's disease and cancer. But Hernando County investigators say Onelio Hippolyte Gonzalez never had a medical license. Deputies are asking anyone who saw him for treatment to call them immediately. President Trump says he's not happy with a funding bill that could prevent a government shutdown on Friday. The bipartisan agreement gives President Trump a fraction of the money he wants for his border wall. But the president said he does not see another government shutdown happening. The FDA just accusing an opioid distributor of shipping illegitimate products. The feds say at least three times pharmacies got opioid shipments where someone replaced the opioids with something else. McKesson has 15 days to respond with how it will correct the violations. In other news, new video shows the man who may have stolen a South Florida monkey. This video shows someone walking into Callie's enclosure at the Palm Beach Zoo early yesterday morning. The rare monkey requires a specialized diet and anti-inflammatory medication. And today, country singer Garth Brooks in Bradenton for the beginning of the Pittsburgh Pirates spring training. He's mostly there to promote the 20 year anniversary of his charity, Teammates for Kids. Now here's Dennis with your forecast. Dennis. Yeah, Jameson, clouds and showers rolling into the area. They roll in overnight from the Gulf, and then I'd say by wake up time, most of the heaviest rain will already have moved on through. Clouds linger for the entire day, or at least until maybe three or four in the afternoon before everything begins to clear out. And then colder weather returns first thing on Valentine's Day morning. All right, thank you, Dennis. You can now get news updates all day long on your favorite streaming device. And don't forget, you can always download the free ABC Action News app. Visibility while driving at night can be challenging for drivers, and their failure to see pedestrians is often fatal. In Florida, 75% of pedestrian fatalities occur at night. Many drivers say they never saw the pedestrian. What will it take to see them? Can you see him now? Drivers, look for pedestrians, especially at night. Pedestrians, make sure you are visible. Alert tonight, alive tomorrow, because safety doesn't happen by accident.